Audacity can help you to make chorus effects from a single voice. I cannot sing, so I will show you a chorus effect on a voiceover. But you will get an idea of how to apply it to a song. Let's hear it a bit. Tomorrow is going to be a very important day for our nation. People have to decide which side they want to be on, faster economic growth or a better public health system. I will normalize the track to a lower volume first. I will make two duplicates of this track, so it will be very loud when all the tracks are played together. I will normalize peak amplitude to minus 8 dB. After normalizing I will make two duplicate tracks. To duplicate a track, select it and press Command D in Mac and Control D in Windows. Keep the first track as it is and change the pitch of the second and third tracks. Move the slider to set a negative percent change, around minus 10 to minus 12 percent. I will set minus 11 for this track. You also have to change the pitch for the third track with a slightly different percent change. Changing pitch will make the voice bit different and will look like another person is singing or talking. I will set minus 6 for this track. Keep in mind you do not have to set exactly this change amount. You can experiment with different values and see which one works best for you. If we now listen to all of the tracks at one we will hear chorus effect. Tomorrow is going to be a very important day for our nation. People have to decide which side they want to be on, faster economic growth or a better public health system. Past few months our political leaders were heavily campaigning on these topics. Tomorrow people will say what they want. I had applied chorus effect all over the tracks, but you may want to apply only on certain parts. Let's see how to do that. I will restore the original recording from history. Let's say I want to apply only to this middle section. I will duplicate only that part. Press Command D or Control D while that part is selected. The last time I applied normalization to all parts of the track, this time, I will only normalize the selected part. I will normalize to minus 8. I also have to normalize other two tracks as those are copied with original sound level. It is not a strict rule that you have to normalize to minus 8, you may need to experiment a bit to make overall loudness to the same level. Like last time, I have to change the pitch of the duplicated tracks. I will choose the same values. Minus 11% change for one track and minus 6% change for another track. This is quite a common formula to make new effects in Audacity. Duplicate tracks and add some effects on those and overall experience will change. Let's listen. Tomorrow is going to be a very important day for our nation. People have to decide which side they want to be on, faster economic growth or a better public health system. Past few months our political leaders were heavily campaigning on these topics. You see the middle section has got the chorus effects. For singers, I will show an excellent free plugin. You can also use in voiceover, the vocal doubler plugin. It is a free plugin from iZotope, and I will share the link in the description. Let's hear it. Tomorrow is going to be a very important day for our nation. People have to decide which side they want to be on, faster economic growth or a better public health system. Past few months our political leaders were heavily campaigning on these topics. Tomorrow people will say what they want. I hope you have found this short tutorial useful. To learn other cool effects with Audacity, please check the cards on the screen. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.